gathered here at the United Net for Bob and Marriage. Marriage is an institution that may be regulated by the government, sanctioned by religion, but it only becomes real in the hearts and in the lives of two people. And so this celebration is only the outward sign of your inward union of hearts. And marriage, as such, may be the most tender of all relationships that we choose to have among. So this couple are coming before family and friends. Together they ask for our support as they begin their adventure. The adventure of married life. <clears throat> now the significance of this occasion is also enhanced with the beauty of creation around us. Looking across this valley at those awesome mountains, those clouds up above, I can't help but wonder the power of the Creator who made this beauty for us to enjoy. In the years to come, when you notice beauty in the world around you, may you be reminded of the beauty of the love that you're sharing for each other right now at this moment. Let us pray. <clears throat> may your days together be good and long. This is that, some of that advice stuff I'm supposed to give you, okay? <laughs> it has to do with happiness in marriage, because it isn't something that just happens. First of all, a good marriage is to be created just like you're doing now. You think back to that first time that you took interest in each other. Look what's grown out of that. Make all that know you know that you become best friends. You come to respect each other, you come to trust each other, and you come to really love each other. Those are the foundations for a wonderful marriage. And when you do have a good marriage, it's about like anything else. Keep it running smoothly. It has to be maintained. But it seems like in marriage, little things are often like big things. It's never growing so old. I know you take great pleasure in this because you mentioned it would be all on your own. There have been so old you can't hold hands. <laughs> That's right. That holding hands, that simple touch. It's a way of saying, I love you, and words could never express. At the same time, it's probably important, especially for us guys, to try to remember to say, I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry with each other, no time taking each other for granted. So this courtship here, so it shouldn't end with the honeymoon, this courtship should continue for all of the years to come. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives, the two of you standing together facing the world. That's forming that circle of love that you extend to and gather in your entire circles of families and friends doing things for each other, not an attitude of duty or sacrifice, but with a spirit of joy and demonstrating your gratitude and love for things. And I know you think the world of Bob is never looking for him to be wearing a halo. Uh, that's, no, 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 I, I, I'll, I'll touch on why that should not be. <laughs> but first of all, i got to pick on you a little bit. And, uh, and that's the answer to your dreams and your prayers. never looking for her to be wearing the wings of an angel either. But, and the idea behind that advice is you never want to slip into that trap of loving each other so much that you do expect perfection out of one another. That's way too high an expectation to put on yourself or on anybody else. So it is cultivating flexibility, and patience, and understanding, and sense of humor. Having the capacity to be able to forgive and to forget while giving each other the atmosphere in which each of you may continue. So it is finding room for things of the spirit. Maintaining a relationship in which your independence is equal, your dependence is mutual, and the obligation is simple. So it's not only marrying the right person, but it's also trying to do the right part. In the spirit of love, maybe you're standing before us this afternoon to be married. I'll ask you, are you ready to be married? Yes. Bob, if you desire to marry Annette, repeat after me. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob. To take you, Annette. To take you, Annette. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have it to home from this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer for poor. Richer for poor. In, si in sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. <coughs> to love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. And that if you desire to marry Bob, repeat after me. I am that. I am take you, Bob. To take you, Bob. To be my wedded husband. To have it to hold. To have it to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. Sickness and health. To love and to cherish. For as long as we both shall live. You have rings that you're offering as symbols of your love for one another. And let your rings say to all, let your love for one another's deep, and let your commitment to one another that it does become everlasting. Father, you'll take Annette's ring and place it upon her ring finger with these words. With this ring, I do that. With this ring, I do that. With. Bob's fingers with his finger with the same words with his ring I do with. Yes, Keep on hanging on to each other, don't let go now. <laughs> <laughs> you know those rings 
that you've exchanged. They're symbols of the vows, the promises that you've made to each other, made yourselves. <clears throat> I believe the rings are used at least in part because they're like true love. They've got a perfect form. There's no beginning and no end to either one. And yet your rings are attributed source for much of the book of Ecclesiastes, if not all of it. In this particular reading, he comments on the benefits of the two of you being together, as opposed to being individuals on your own. And then he brings in the power of God's Holy Spirit to find your union together. Two people could accomplish more than twice as much as one to get a better return for their labor. One person falls, the other can reach out and help, but people who fall when they're alone are in real trouble. And on a cold night, two under the same blanket can gain warmth from each other. How can one be born alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated. The two can stand back to back and conquer. Here's where he brings in God's Holy Spirit. Three, or even better, for a triple braided cord is not as the book. Well, all things have a beginning in our lives. There are full of many beginnings, and yet there's none as special. It's the beginning of the commitment of two souls to each other. For this in your hearts, I'm going to say just a few more words to start you, Bob, and you met out on this year, brand new beginning together. <laughs> and so may your marriage bring you all of the exquisite excitement that a marriage should bring, all like the patience and tolerance and understanding. And may you always need each other, not so much to fill any emptiness, but so that you can find your own meaningful intentions. In so many ways, your relationship should be like the relationship that this valley has to those mountains. The differences, the differences are dramatic. It's that contrast that acts as a complement that makes each more beautiful and each more perfect. So let it be for the two of you that you'll be able to find those differences in complementary form. May you always need each other, never out of weakness, and want one another, but not out of lack, and entice each other, but not compel each other, and embrace each other, but not as each other. May you succeed in all the important ways for each other, never fail in the differences. And may you look into each other, often finding things to praise and say, I love you, and take no notice. Should anything ever try to come to you before heaven gets us, shove it out of there, take a person back to heaven. And may you enter, enter into, or if you're already there, may you continue in that mystery. It's the awareness of another's presence that's no more physical and spiritual, but it's a complete awareness. So with these words of mind of the deep love that the two of you so very, very obvious to share, may you continue to find your future filled with dreams and triumphs and love and laughter and a new beginning in each of your days. By the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord graciously will spare you. And so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love that you may so live together in this life that the world of God. As much as you and that, you, Bob, have consented together before God, surrounded by this loving company of family and friends, but our best by the state of Wyoming, I pronounce you a husband and wife. And you may seal those vows with a kiss. <laughs>